If you've been looking for a USB charging station, then stick around to see our new PoE powered solution that fits in a standard electrical outlet receptacle. Today's video sort of comes as a part two to running a network jack for PoE. The install is the same, we're just going to swap out the in-wall unit that we use. This one is going to feature our GAT USB IW, a PoE Plus to 5 volt 12 watt USB charging station with an additional port for output 802.3 AF PoE. Let's jump right in. For more details on which instruments we used, cable fishing, and pinning out your own ethernet cable, please go back and watch our video on how to run a PoE jack. Since the process is the same, I'm going to just review some of the key installation notes. My first step is to measure how high I want this PoE jack to be. The typical height for a wall jack like this is 12 to 18 inches. I measured out about 30 inches based on the design concept we have for this room. Now I'm ready to use the Dremel to cut out the space for the mounting bracket. Remember to wear your safety goggles. This isn't actually drywall that I'm penetrating, so it was a little easier to get through. If needed, you might have to go back over the corners like I did, just to make sure the opening clears out very easily. For this next step, I called in Tyler to help me out. I didn't feel super comfortable drilling through two studs while on this ladder, so I called him in as backup. What he's doing here is drilling through the studs between the walls to create an opening to fish our cabling through. Once the openings are made, I prepare the cable to be fed through the wall. To do this, I took electrical tape and secured my cable to this pole or fishing rod. Once the cable has been fished down, reach your hand through and pull it out. Now that the cable is where I needed it, I secured the single gang bracket to the opening I previously cut out. This part was quick and easy. If the measurements are correct, it'll fit right in and all you need to do is screw the tabs down to secure it. In our part one video, this is where we installed the GBT4 IW. If you want to see how that went, go back and watch the PoE Jack install video on our channel. If you've already seen that, then keep on watching to see me replace it with the GAT USB IW. We'll start by removing the faceplate. There is a tab on one end to make it a little bit easier for removal. A helpful tip is to take a flathead screwdriver for leverage to pop it off. We want to replace this with the GAT USB IW to turn this jack into a charging station. The GAT USB IW is an in-wall PoE powered USB charging station. Compatible with Uplink 802.3 AT PoE, it delivers 5 volts, 12 watts of USB power and has an additional output to deliver PoE for one 802.3 AF device. The PoE port supports up to gigabit data speeds and the USB port works to fast charge Apple or Android devices. It's also active on the PoE port, so it will negotiate to protect non-PoE devices. On the front of this device, you will see a female RJ45 port and a female USB Type A port. There's also an LED indicator for power and two mounting holes on top and bottom. The GAT USB IW also comes with a faceplate that snaps right on. Connect your Ethernet cable from your switch or injector into the uplink port on the back of the unit. Then push the cable back through the opening, position the unit in its place, and secure it with the included mounting screws. Once you pop on the faceplate, you should hear it click into place for a flat, flush-to-wall application. Now you have a PoE-powered charging station ready to use in your home or office. Check out more of our PoE project videos and let us know what you want to see. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. That does it for today, everyone, but thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you want to see more videos like this by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. To make sure you get notified whenever we upload, click that bell icon on our page and leave us some comments down below on what you'd like to see next. Be sure to check out our other channels too. We post to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and even Amazon. See y'all next time.